Welcome to a few minutes on the G-Train by the handsome one. While I acknowledge that I've never lived through a virus or pandemic like this, I do understand very well how a situation like this can make people feel. Because I've been there before, in a different situation and for a different challenge. But a challenge which results in similar feelings. I've had multiple sclerosis for 13 years. This debilitating disease resulted in me last year undergoing a very risky stem cell transplant. There are many similarities here that I felt that people must be feeling now. And I offer seven points I think we could all do to help each other. So, I'm going to give you my thoughts on how I handled those dark days. Maybe, just maybe. This video can help someone out fighting the anxiety and uncertainty of the coronavirus. If this helps someone, just someone, in some small way, then I'll be happy. This is how the G train rolls. So people must be feeling scared, anxious, stressed, nervous, worried, desperate. They must be experiencing dark days. They must be looking fear in the eye, fighting hard like warriors. They must see the uncertainty in their loved one's eyes. Pain, loneliness, struggle and isolation, it's unforgiving. Some people must be putting a smile on their face, but underneath, there is no smile. It's okay to feel this way. It's okay. It's okay to be scared when you're in the eye of the storm. It's brutal. And it's a lonely battle. So these are my seven points I think we could all do to help each other out. Point one. You have to be mentally strong. That's your attitude. I knew two things for certain. It could beat me physically, but never mentally. I always knew this. I could not be unhinged. You control it mentally. You control your attitude. Believe me when I say that you have what it takes. This is what the G train is all about. During dark days, when you're in a sea of pain, uncertainty, and desperation, don't complain. If you do, it will have beaten you mentally. So I say to everyone, don't show people sympathy, rather encouragement. Sympathy pulls people down. It slowly pulls people down. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're all lucky. We're alive. People are experiencing the patience of family, the love of friends, the kindness of strangers, the pulling together of communities. And seeing this is what makes them gain mental strength and fight harder, not sympathy. The Roman Emperor, Marcus Aurelius said, you have the power of your mind not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. We all find mental strength in different ways. You need to find your way. I found my way in my family. I knew that whatever was written about me in the future, nowhere would Duty, Matt and Jess ever read that I gave up. Point two, put a smile on your face. It helps. They say a warm smile is the universal language of kindness. A smile is a gift to that person. Give that gift. Point three, keep your humor up and laugh. Charles Dickens said, there's nothing in the world so irresistibly contagious as laughter and good humor. Point four, be strong, be tough, be resilient, fight like a warrior. This is the G-Train. 
You only know how resilient you are until you give it a go. Give it a go. There's hope. There's always hope. There's a wonderful song by the Eagles written in 1973 called Desperado. The lyrics read, It may be raining, but there's a rainbow above you. Start believing that. Start believing that. Point five, give a compliment. To make the other person feel good, make you feel good. Point six, be nice and be kind. We've all heard this. In a world where you can be anything, be nice and be kind, anything. It's time to be kind to everyone. Trust me. When I say that kindness is the most attractive quality any person can have. There's a Quaker missionary from the 17th century, Stephen Grillet, who wrote, I shall pass through this world but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do, or any kindness that I can show, let me do it now. Let me not defer nor neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. You have one chance. Leave your mark and legacy. Be kind. This is how the G train rolls. When people are kind, we see it. And it sometimes takes the pain away for a moment. But a moment is all we need. Point seven. Talk to each other. Share your feelings. Ask and learn someone else's story. You don't know what they're going through. Look close into their eyes. I love my music. They said the greatest song ever written was Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone. I love that song. But on the G train, we think that the greatest song ever written was the 1965 song, Tracks of My Tears by Smokey Robinson. When Smokey Robinson was asked, what inspired him to write this beautiful song? He said, what if a person had cried so much that if you got really close up to them and looked into their face, you could see that the tears had left tracks. People won't tell you, so look close into their eyes. And they won't tell you because they are fighting hard. Everyone is fighting in a fight club you know nothing about. Because as you know, the first and second rule of fight club is you do not talk about fight club. You only know their story if you ask. And you must look close at the tracks left behind by the tears. I'll add one more. Stop reading everything. Just do 10 minutes a day. Okay. We'll take some inspiration from the poet Dylan Thomas. And we will not go gentle into that good night. Keep your families close. Have a positive attitude. Stay on the G train. Keeps on rolling. Keeps on rolling. Can't be stopped. From an MS warrior, the greatest bri in the world, and the handsome one. This is the big G. Share this video. If you think it might just help someone, even just one person, this is a G-Train signing off.